Hey loves, Jay here from Omnipresent Tarot, and this is going to be a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Be sure to check your Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs for a clearer message on what Spirit is trying to convey to you. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm grateful for your support. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And just a quick note, I will not be doing the mini readings, um, selecting a random subscriber and doing the mini readings after the readings. Right now, I've been off a little bit more than I can chew, guys. And I may have to postpone, to postpone that to the future. Nonetheless, I still want to hear your comments. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, guys? Thank you. Thank you again for tuning in and being part of the community. If you're looking for a private reading, all of my information is in the description box below. I also offer remote energy healings. You will definitely need that for sure, Aries, okay? I'm feeling this energy of some change that is definitely coming up for you. Some of you may receive, um, something may change via um, via email, like you may receive a message from someone or there's someone may call you with some life-changing news. I don't know if that's going to show up good, bad, or indifferent for you, but that's the energy that I'm picking up for you here, okay? So let's tap into your spirit messages additional spirit messages. I pulled an affirmation for you and actually two of them flew out the deck. The first one is I bring peace with me wherever I go. Okay, so make sure you're bringing peace with you. Okay, because we have been feeling some tumultuous energies coming from you in the past few months. It has been rough for some of you guys um, in 2023 and before then, but this month, this year has been pretty testing, pretty trying for some of you. And there's, there has been a lot of tower moments that some of you have had. So I feel like something life-changing can be on the horizon for you, but I don't know how that's going to show up for you. But whatever this, whatever it is, change is neutral, and it's for your highest good, whatever this is for you. The other card is attacking others is an attack on myself. I choose to release this now, okay? So no attacking others. I'm feeling a what goes around comes around, okay? So if you have been acting out in some sort of way, nor that karma cannot be your best friend or she can be your best friend. You make a decision. Do you want her as your best friend or not? Because <laughs> if you're out there doing some crazy stuff to people, then expect that that's going to come back on you. Okay. So know that you're, you're bringing peace with you wherever you go. Okay. And that needs to start in your environment. That needs to start in your mind, body, and spirit first and foremost, and then in your environment. Okay. Calm comes first is what your spirit guides and your angels are saying here, there's too much to do. So, so much that your mind spins with confusion on, you know, life in general. Um, but there is nothing to be, um, to do except for one thing. And that's make space for time for calm. Okay. So that's taking, you know, having a daily practice where you're tuning in, tapping in meditation, journaling, going for walks in nature, um, you know, doing yoga, focusing, practicing breathing techniques so that you can get in alignment with self. You need to create some peace and calm within your spirit. Um, when you get to that place, everything else will become possible for you. I pulled something that you can do that's sacred for you for the remainder of the month and moving into 2024 is write a gratitude journal. Okay. A gratitude journal will definitely be beneficial for you. Some of you have been going through the ups and the downs of life. Again, like I said, especially in 2023. So you need to really focus on what you are grateful for. All the things that you already have. I know, Aries, you are working towards a lot. You know, getting the bag up and, you know, making career moves. But think about all of the other things, not just the money. Okay, what are you grateful for in your life? And let us know in the comments below what you're grateful for in life. Okay, I'm grateful for you watching this this video i i am okay your views definitely help me in the algorithm so your likes help your views and your comments so i'm extremely grateful for you aries and i love doing your readings because your readings are very exciting in some sort of way <laughs> even though they could be filled with drama and then the one minute they could feel like you know i'm focusing on the back now i'm focusing on this person and now i'm sad and that like it could be i mean it's a wide spectrum of emotions for you guys so it's kind of exciting sometimes but sometimes yet exhausting spirit is also asking you to be gentle with yourself okay and honor and trust the feelings that you have okay 
whatever's coming up for you is honor that and trust it. Okay, it's in your inner guidance. It's your guides and angels trying to um, give you these messages to um, make to move you forward on your journey in life. Okay, I pulled the cleanse and detox card. So, like I said earlier, some of you are needing energy clearings. You need to do that on your mind, body, and your spirit. You also need to do that in your environment. So um, smudging is definitely going to help you as well. See in a, a, an energy facilitator. That could also be a body worker. That could be a counselor. Someone that's going to help you release. But it definitely does feel like some sort of cleansing is needed to take place because you have things stuck in your energy field. I'm also hearing some of you may need to even change your diet. Maybe even need to... Um, Eat more fruits, maybe orange, I don't know, uh, uh, citrus, uh, so alkaline the body in some sort of way. Um, but definitely changing the diet and really being cognizant of what you're putting into your body. I'm also feeling a fiery energy from this too. Some of you may be experiencing inflammation in the body, inflammation in your gut. This is spirit's way of saying pay attention to what you're putting into your body. So you could have really inflammatory foods, acidic foods, which all cause which all cause inflammation. So it's going to it's going to make you feel out of sorts, stomach hurt, minds foggy. Um, you're just not feeling like yourself. So um, replenish, replenish with water, good water, alkaline water, uh, spring water, spring water are, are top two. Um, I drink alkaline, alkaline water every day, all day, and I do spring water when I do bottled water. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, we can't control everything in, in the world, but at least you could put the best water in your body, the best so we think, okay? So keep, keep, keep that in mind as well. Um, I'm also feeling some of you are needing to beautify your space and bring flowers into your home. You need something. I feel an, a dull energy, like a dull energy in your environment, and you're needing something to sort of liven it up, to bring in more oxygen, because um, it feels it feels a little it feels a little dark. And this could be lingering energy, or some of you could be feeling like you're in the darkest darkness right now. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body at your request will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. Okay, so starting with your mind and your, starting with your mind, your mind tells your body what to do, right? And then your body then aligns with your spirit. And then when your spirit is in alignment, in alignment, you can align your environment. Okay, so you wanna you wanna practice that in that order, getting the mind right to get the body right, to get the spirit right, to get the environment right. Okay, one thing that you can work on this month is working on clearing your crown chakra so that you can have a clear vision of what life looks like here. Okay, get in a place of imagining and. Um, experiencing life in a beautiful way. This is a good time for you to manifest, okay? We are going into a universal eight year in 2024, and this is about manifestations. It's about wealth. It's about, are you gonna continue, you know, the same patterns that you have been um, enduring throughout life? Are you gonna continue some of those negative patterns? So how do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself? These are questions to ask yourself. And I feel like journaling would also be a good thing for you guys too, to, excuse me, release <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so I'm releasing for you, um, releasing. But again, um, writing that gratitude journal. So that can go hand in hand. Your gratitude list and gratitude journal can go hand in hand with your daily journal as well. You could also do a dream journal also. Okay. So let's get your tarot cards out. And then we're going to clarify each of these. Make sure you stick around till the end so you can get your final outcome for the remainder of the month going into 2024. You don't want to miss that, guys. All right. Let's see here. Actually... I'm going to keep that one I'm hearing. I'm going to keep that, but I am going to do a little shuffle. I'm going to keep this off to the side is what I'm hearing. We're going to start here. Oh, I like that. Okay.
that four of pentacles it wanted to come out reversed <laughs> flew out of my hand all right so we're going to clarify each of these here aries see what's coming up for you all right so we have in your overall position for the remainder of this month moving into 2024 is the world so things changing for you infinite possibilities are on the horizon you guys are completing a cycle here i'm also here into work on your root chakra so your root and your crown so your first and your seventh chakra we have the will of fortune look at that the ten of the ten of wands and the ace of wands wow what a progression this is i like this energy for you here aries okay so lots of lots of things that are changing for you if you're finding that inner peace Definitely your life can be changing in a good way. So maybe that message that's coming through, whatever this is, the life-changing message that comes to you is definitely life-changing for the good, okay? For your for, for the betterment of your life. I feel like things are coming together here with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, definitely an end of a cycle here. We have the world and the Wheel of Fortune here. So I feel like they're both confirming you guys are coming to an end of something, okay? So something's going to be um, over. Maybe um, this could... This would come up in the form of friendships, you know, relationships in general, a job, um, the end of a struggle. I feel like it's definitely coming to an end. The Ten of Wands in the center of that is definitely saying that it has been heavy. A lot, it's a burdensome energy that some of you have been enduring. And you're definitely walking towards this Ace of Wands here. I love this energy, this new inspiration. I'm also feeling prosperity from this as well. So whatever this is, the will of fortune is also an unexpected windfalls of money that can come. So, you know, whether you are, you know, seeking a loan or a, receiving a gift or hitting the lottery, things can be turning in your favor here. Um, and I definitely feel like it's going to help you on the home front. I feel like it's going to inspire you. I'm also feeling travel coming up for some of you as well. Maybe you're traveling for the holidays. Maybe you are moving somewhere else, relocating in the new year or in 2024 at some point. But I definitely feel a shift, a new beginning that's coming, a new inspiration. Could even be a new relationship for some of you as well, a new job, um, and, and new money coming in. Okay, we always like to hear new money, okay? <laughs> Although we like the old money too, okay? But... There is definitely a shift that is happening, and this is a really, really big shift, okay? As I'm looking at this, I just got the chills. This Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands is 1010. So if you're seeing the number 1010, this is validation from the universe, from the angels, letting you know that things are going to be changing in your favor, that whatever it is that you have been going through that have been worrisome, that's been heavy, that's been overloading, that has been taking over, all of your life, your creativity, um, your sleepless nights is going to be coming to an end. I love, love, love this. Blessings and abundance are on the way for you here, Aries. A challenge that you may face during this month. We have the death card, okay? Another confirmation that your life is changing, okay? New beginnings. I love this. New beginnings, okay? But this is an obstacle that you may face because some of you may not be ready to let go of what's been the old, that, that what has been old in your life. And some of you are, um, it's not because you don't want it to end. It's just that you have a fear that's coming up of how it's going to end. What are you going to be doing? How are you going to feel? What are people going to say? What are people going to think? All of these other things, the external energies that some of you may be focused on. But that fear comes up internally because some of you have been used to living in turmoil. You've been used to living in this pattern, used to living, you know, with your mind clock, uh, clouded, fogged, with you not taking care of yourself. And there's this shift that's happening. And I'm, I'm getting the chills again because the death card is saying, whether you're ready or not, here we come. Okay, whether you're ready or not, here it comes. It is about to change whether you're ready for it or not. So you better get in alignment because it's, it's, it's the inevitable. It's going to happen either way. This eight of wands is coming out reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Seven of Cups. So your energy is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Capricorn here. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Scorpio with the Death card here. So something is about to be over, done, finito. Okay, this could even 
like a, the death of something. This does not have to be literal. This could be a figurative death. Like something is just like, <laughs> get it off, okay? Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups here. Eight of Wands and Seven and Ten of Cups are reversed. So some of you are have a lot on your mind. You go back and forth with between happiness and overwhelm is what I'm feeling from these two cards, the emotions. Some of you may even be going back and forth with someone digitally, okay? Social media, email, phone, text message. You may be going back and forth with someone where you may be feeling like you're left in the dark. So for some of you, this may pertain to a relationship, whether romantic or platonic, that you're going to be cutting it off, okay? And maybe this person's cutting it off for you is the death card here. Scorpio, some of you could be dealing with, but it's being cut off. But again, like I said, this transformation is being, the universe is looking out for you. And some of you have to just fully let it go. You have to let it go. So that may be an obstacle that you may face. It's like, are you ready to let it go? <laughs> Aries, let it go. Okay, just let it go. It's it's taking up too much. It's It's bringing out a side of you that feels unauthentic to who you are. Um, it's bringing out a side of you because you have been comfortable in this energy, but it's not where you are anymore. You're like, these are outdated paradigms that some of you are still trying to control and, and to make it work. And it it's not going to work anymore. Okay. So this is some you letting something go or someone letting you go. And it feels overwhelming because there's a lot going on. Some of you could be losing things. Okay losing relationship, losing your car, losing your home, losing your family, losing a loved one. Okay, so this message I feel like will definitely come through at some point. Not sure when. This could be in the new year as well, but there is definitely a shift that is coming. That can rock your energy a little bit, but I feel like it's a temporary thing where you may feel a little unhappy, you feel incomplete, um, but I do feel like it frees up your mind as I look at the seven of cups here when you have so much on your mind, so much on your plate, you have so many emotions. I feel like you've also you're also being pulled in different directions. Excuse me. I'm also hearing from the seven of <laughs> the seven of cups is saying this is a delusional energy as well that some of you may think a lot of these things are going on. I feel like I just said this. I did just say this in your December reading. You feel like a lot of things are going on and it's not. It's not. It's like you're you're creating stories, okay? You're creating stories in your mind. You think that you're feeling this or that, but you've been out you've you've been out of touch with yourself. So there's no way that you could be feeling other things if you if you're not in tune with yourself. If you're not in touch with yourself. You have to, in order to feel all of these things, you have to really get in alignment with yourself from a very healthy perspective, okay? So paradigm shifts are happening. They are the inevitable, and you guys are going to be faced with that as an obstacle, and you have to decide whether you're going to let it go or not, okay? And I do hope that you decide to let it go because there are a lot of beautiful things that can be coming up for you here, okay? As the sun card is here. Remember, that was the first one that came out. This is a phase of enlightenment for you, of finding optimism and happiness and peace. And some of you are needing to connect with your inner child. And some of you are needing to connect with your children in a way. Because as I think about the readings that we have done in the past couple months, it has been you focusing on a relationship and investing into something that doesn't even it feels toxic, it feels unhealthy for you, and you need to move past it. So it's like now you need to redirect your energy to what is most important, okay? Because who you, whoever you've been dealing with in the past, this is not important. That's not important anymore. Like it's time to move past that. It's outdated. It's all. It's over. Girl, move on. Okay, let's we we just gonna keep it at that. That sun is about you birthing something new into your life and finding your inner happiness, finding your inner peace. Okay. Finding yourself because some of you have lost yourself in someone or in something. Okay, so now you're needing to tune in and you also need are needing to fine tune. And I'm also hearing connect, reconnect to yourself. The page of wands is what's coming toward is what's where you're headed. Why is the page of wands here for Aries? We have the five of wands, knight of pentacles. And the four of 
truth. Okay, some of you may be holding holding the truth or the truth is being held from you. Someone's not, not being honest about something. Libra energy there. <clears throat> yeah, you're definitely conflicted. Uh-oh, I picked up the wrong card. Knight of um, Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and then the Four of Wands. Your energy is on the outs. In the middle is the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So some of you... Um, some of you are doing some immature things, some things that are actually not even in your character, but you're doing it. You're stepping outside. Do, you're doing something that doesn't feel authentic to you. And I don't like that energy for you. Um, so <laughs> I feel like, is it someone taking you out of your character? Are you just having a moment where are you looking for attention? I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like a rebellious energy as well, that you're just going against, you're going against the odds was what it feels like. And it feels like in this situation, you going against the odds is all wrong. Okay. I get that. It's like, you know, people go against the odds because they want to prove people wrong. You going against the odds right now is all wrong for your spirit. I feel like it's going to block you if you don't get it together here, Aries. Okay. So definitely you are uh, conflicted. You are uh, in confrontation with someone or multiple people. This could also be your inner thoughts as well. It feels like the change is moving slow. Someone may be, some, I feel like you may be expecting something from someone. This Virgo Taurus Capricorn may also come in with, you're battling a person. Okay, you're battling a person. Someone may come in and maybe even offer you an apology or um, offer you something. I'm, I'm here to offer you something to shut you up. So I don't know if you are wanting money. This could be a legal situation for some of you where you're in a, you know, in um, a legal battle where I'll, you know, I'll give you the money so you can be quiet. Okay. So sort of um, paying you off in some sort of way. Um, but it, it does, I feel like it does have something to do with a relationship, a family matter of some sorts, but there is definitely conflict. Whatever this is that this person brings into you, I do feel like it brings a sense of happiness uh, for you. I feel like you feel peaceful. It's almost like you, someone is bringing back your peace. And maybe this is you finding your peace, but I feel like someone brings you something. Someone brings in something for you that makes you feel complete. That's what I feel from this Four of Wands energy. And it's definitely a back and forth because we move from the five back to the four. So I, I definitely feel like it's a conflict between you and family and you and your stability. That's what that feels like. So that's where you're headed is there is an opportunity for someone to, to come in and offer you something because I feel like you may be acting out. Okay, this page of wands energy, you may be acting out in some sort of way. And I feel like they have no other choice but just to hush you is to give you what you want, okay? I don't know, that also sounds very manipulative as well. So could you be, the the rose could be reversing someone who was being manipulative to you, towards you, you're, you've, now, you've now adopted that behavior and you're doing it towards them. Not sure how that's playing out, but that's what I'm getting. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So I do feel like you are very extroverted in your actions. <laughs> so I don't know what you're doing having conversations with this person, telling this person how you feel. Um, but then remember that justice reverse was on the bottom of the deck. So again, legal matter for some of you. And some of you are not getting what you want. So you have to go to extremes in order to get what you want. Okay, but let's see what's coming towards you because that's a lot of energy because I feel like things are changing for you. But then I feel like there's a behavior behind the change. And it's, it could be manipulative for, manipulative for some of you. And on the other end, this could be what you're deserving, okay, is to reap the benefits and the rewards from any time and energy that you put into something that it works out in your favor. So, you know, it could be two, there's definitely two different audiences I'm speaking to when it comes to you and a person and things from the past, okay? But what's coming towards you is the magician. So you're definitely creating something new in your life. That Knight of Cups wanted to come out. We have the world coming out second time. Five of Cups. Nine of Wands. So you're definitely, whatever this is that some of you are going through this legal matter or whatever you have been seeking that you are getting from someone or you're just getting that the universe is providing you with something that you deserve, is definitely life-changing. But I do feel like in the center of that, you still regret. Like you, It's almost like you still feel 
incomplete in some sort of way. Like you still feel like you need to battle somebody for what? I don't know, but that's what's coming towards you, okay? And, or maybe there's somebody that's battling you. So this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here, this is Nine of Wands is your energy. I feel like someone may have turned their back to you or they may be turning their back to you. And I feel like you're, it's like you're trying to get their attention. It, it almost feels like your life has changed or their life has changed, but then someone is still battling trying to get someone's attention. But at the end of the day, I'm hearing logic, creating logic, okay? So using logic in this situation, whatever this is, but you're manifesting whatever it is that you want. And you're also, you also have the will to create whatever this is. The magician is the number eight, and this is a number about wealth. So I feel like we have moved into this energy of you creating prosperity and abundance in your life like you were some months ago before you got were caught up in the energy with someone else. Um, and for some of you, this was probably a marriage that felt tumultuous and now you're reaping the rewards from something. So this definitely feels like some of you are winning some sort of financial battle or you're just become you're coming up in some sort of way. Your business is taking off or you're just making money now. So there's definitely that. But I still feel like some of you are missing something. And could it just be the love and the relationship? I feel like you want it all. You can have it all, but it may not be with this person. Okay, that some of you are dealing with. You can definitely have it all, but it's not with that person. So keep that in mind. Lots of things, lots of emotions around whatever this situation is. Okay, lots of very strong emotions. But at the end of the day, it feels like you're going to win. You're you're winning. It, you know, you're winning whether it is a, in a legal battle <laughs> or you're just winning in life in general. Okay, um, in your near future, we have the Nine of Pentacles. More energy around wealth here. You becoming more self reliant. So this means that some of you have left behind something, a job, a person. Um, a family where you're focused on yourself now and you fo you focus on, you know, traveling, you know, maybe even buying your own jet at this point. Maybe some of you are winning enough money in your legal battle to have all the luxurious things that you want. The Nine of Pentacles is like, girl, I'm single. I'm doing whatever I want to do. I'm about to take this trip. I'm about to go and buy this. I'm, go I'm going to go do that because... That's just what you can do. That's the energy that you're in here, okay? So maybe even some of you may be hitting the lotto as well <laughs> um, because it def it definitely feels like um, it, it feels like a lot of money. It doesn't feel like, oh, I got a little raise, 25 cents on my check. It feels like, no, I got paid. That's what it, that's what that feels like here, okay? Um, but again, I feel like it, it comes from, it may come from someone Okay, and in your near future, we're clarifying this Nine of Pentacles energy for you. With this uh, points to material security for you. We have the Star, Aquarius, Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Remember, we just pulled the five, and we have the three, so we go four, three. Interesting, okay? So some of you, like I said, are definitely dealing with a water sign, or this is an emotions, or an emo emotions that you're feeling, or this is a, a person, like I said, that you're dealing with. All right. So in your in your near future, I feel like you're going to be um, there's going to be a lot of growth that's happening. You're going to be pouring out a lot. You some of you are going to be expanding the platform that you may have and becoming famous. <clears throat> that is in the cards for you. Also, I'm looking at the star and there are eight stars on here again, pointing to wealth and manifestation of the number eight. Okay, so this could be you, things are beginning to take off for you in this new universal eight year in 2024. Okay, the number eight has come up for you like three times already. And three is the number of creation. Okay, so lots of beautiful things that are happening for you guys are pouring into and, and growing. And I feel like you guys are really going to be in a place of feeling, of being vulnerable. And that's not a bad thing. It takes a lot to master vulnerability. I feel like you're going to be able to give your full authentic self to your career, to your fans, I'm hearing, your fans, um, to um, people in your life, and to your relationship, where I feel like you don't have to pretend. You're like, this is me, like bud naked. <laughs> this is me. You either take it or leave it. And I love that energy because you're stepping into a confidence here. Okay. But there is something that spirit is trying to gift you with. And some of you may be a little bit too consumed on other emotions. This is why I think working with the facilitator to, um, I'm hearing level out, level out, 
but also to remove some of these layers so that you can get this clear picture because in the end you're going to be celebrating with the three of cups energy here celebrating with family and friends your girls going on trips um or guys I say, you know, women, most of my subscribers are women, but there is a celebration of coming together, okay, drinking, partying, make sure you're not in this page of wands energy where you're going overboard and that immature energy comes out again because you, Aries, you are the baby of the zodiac, okay, so there is, there is an energy of immaturity that pops up for you at times, not saying that you're an immature person, there are moments where you, um, you just, you know, you're very adventurous and intense and you want it when you want it and you're going to do whatever you want to do in that moment and sometimes it can come off as immature, okay, but you are going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor, labor in the very near future and celebrating, gifting people with that same energy, creating a new tribe is also what I'm feeling for you as well, celebration could even come up with you know siblings your family members cousins friends but a group of you like I feel like you like girl I got it nine of Pentacles we on jets I'm taking everybody with me okay that kind of energy of, of like I've leveled up so have the people in my tribe okay so that's coming up for you in your near future your advice is the eight of cups Pisces cancer Scorpio travel again is on the horizon you walking away from something or someone, King of Wands, your energy here, Leo, as well as Sagittarius, the two of, oh, that's how I wanted to pop on out, you wanted to come on out, huh, bottom of the deck, some of your, um, wait for it, is what I'm hearing, wait for it, okay, wait for it, because things are about to change, okay, things are about to change for you, Aries, okay, now I have a clear picture that things are changing in your favor, Okay, King of Wands, Two of Wands, Tower Reversed is your advice. There's a lot of self-discovery in this level up that you guys will be experiencing. Some of you have had a creative block. I feel like that's going to be opening up for you. Some of you are also going to be speaking, I'm hearing, doing speaking engagements motivational speaking, I don't know, TED Talks, whatever, I do feel like you're going to be speaking. This doesn't feel like, oh, I'm just speaking to the people, my people. I feel like speaking to an audience is what I'm feeling. People, possibly even around the world, could this be a reason why you're traveling? You're going to be getting, um, you know, speaking engagements. People are hiring you for that, and you're making money. There's an opportunity here for you, Aries, that you need to jump on the wagon right now and go because there is a very potent energy right now that is that is taking you to this level of success to create wealth and abundance long term for you the tower here in reverse I feel like this is the tower you've already experienced and I feel like this is like a, in a spiritual growth I feel like you needed to go through what you needed what you went through in the past few months throughout this year throughout your life you needed that experience in order to come to this moment and say I got it now I can let this go Okay, so there's a lot of progression from the beginning of this reading till now. You now have a realization that um, that some of the chaos and upheaval and the things come came crumbling down was a lesson for you to learn so that you can move past this. Okay, I love this energy. So, you know, have you learned the lesson? Have you learned whatever lesson you needed to learn through the tumultuous energies? Uh, and relationships and situations that you have been in recently, just even most recently, have you learned from that? You've been disappointed, okay? You have uh, lacked this. You've lacked money. You've lacked friendships. You lack love. All of these things that you feel like you have lacked, I feel like you needed to experience this to take you to this next level. That four of pinnacles is here that initially wanted to come out reversed, which is saying that you want to give you're in a place of giving to others okay i'll i'll take it i'll take that reverse i'll take it reversed okay so you're letting go of things that no longer serve you no longer hoarding emotions feelings people money you're sharing you're giving you're charitable ten of swords seven of pentacles i feel like you've been working on yourself 
Some of you have been trying to let go of this energy of feeling betrayed and backstabbed and even physically debilitated like you're just like you've just been put down. Okay, some of you have been put down and some of you have been, you know, put down, whether it's been in a fight, you've been abused, something where you just feel like I just can't win. I feel like you some of you may have been stuck in that energy here. Um, Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Reverse. So I do feel like there may be something that there may be an announcement of something that could be coming up for you, but you may not, you may choose to not speak about it. <laughs> this makes me feel like you hit the lotto and you don't tell people, but you still bring people with you like, girl, how you get all this money? Don't worry about it. I got you. Don't worry about it. That's how I feel with this energy, with this Ace of Swords here reversed and this Page of Pentacles. I mean, the Four of Pentacles reversed because it is about you supplying material gains and you're not being greedy. You're, you know, you're reaping what you sow in the, in the, in the most beautiful way. And you don't, you're not in a position where you have to hold on to things that you can like let people experience the love, the joy, the peace that you already have. You're giving that out as well, which I love this energy. And you don't have any fears coming up. You don't have any fears of loss. You're not, like I said, you feel, you feel a sense of security but you also um, you can also uh, spend as you want, give as you want, and you don't feel like you're going to be lacking anything. Okay, so that's the final outcome: is honor and trust the things that are coming up. Be gentle with yourself. Write a gratitude list. Um, cleanse and detoxify yourself in order to so that you can stay with this natural progression of what the universe is trying to pro provide for you. So get your readings, get your cleansing done, change up your environment, get in a place where you're working on your crown chakra as well as your root um, so that you can be in the place of uh, feeling focused and you can fully experience what the universe is providing for you. Okay, Aries? That is your reading. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like this video. Share with your family and your friends. Comment below if any parts of this resonate with you. I will see you guys for December, for January, <laughs> January 2024, y'all. Okay, we doing it. And y'all are doing it. I love this energy for you here, Aries. Okay, take care, guys. Many blessings. Love and light. Peace.